Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So I was going through YouTube the other day and I came across this video for a radio receiver. Now excuse the quality, it's not very... it's only 480p so schematic is going to look a little bit fuzzy. But as you can see it's a pretty simple circuit and I thought to myself, well I'm going to try this out for myself and see if it works. I've got some spare time on my hands, why not? The only real difference I'm going to do is instead of using a crystal earphone I'm going to connect that up to a amplifier. The only other difference I'm going to make is I'm going to attach an antenna here because radio reception in this area or at least on any of the radios I've made has not been all that terrifically good so I'm going to attach a piece of long piece of wire there so which should improve the reception even more so I'm gonna get on and build this. Okay, well, here's the circuit built. Um, pay no attention to this stuff down here, that's nothing to do with it. But anyway, I've had to make a couple of minor changes. Oops, just bump the camera. I don't have any BC109 transistors, so what I've done is I've used BC547s because if I remember they have very similar properties, so it shouldn't affect the circuit too much. Also, I'm going to power this off a battery, because my power supply just induces so much hum, because the transformer is not shielded, that if it does pick up any radio station, we we'll probably won't even hear it. Now the coil, instead of winding 5 turns here and 35 turns there, I've decided that I'd make the inductances match what it says on the schematic. So for the 10 microhenry coil, I've actually had to wind 10 turns instead of 5 turns. And for the 1 millihenry coil, instead of 35 turns, I've had to do over 100 turns. So, I don't know. I think that is way too many turns to pick up medium wave, which is Brit talk for AM. So the very best, this may only receive one or two long wave stations, but we can certainly see if it does receive anything. So I think there might actually be a mistake on the schematic there. Because if you look right here, it also says 35 turns, yet that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes much more sense there, where it's next to a coil, but there, that seems a bit weird. And also, I don't think those inductances are right. So I've got it plugged into my tape recorder over there. The tape recorder's line in. And that's connected to my amplifier. So we should be able to hear it through the speakers. So now I'm going to connect up the battery, which just fell over. And uh, let's see if we get anything. This thing is either going to go up in smoke, not do anything at all, oscillate very noisily, or we may even get a radio station. Hmm. Well, I can definitely hear a hum, which was not what I was expecting to hear. Let me just turn the level up. Does it tune into anything? Oh, it's making some radio noises. I think it might be picking up something right about there. Well, it's definitely doing something. Okay. Well, that's a start. I didn't even think it would do that. So we're definitely on the right track. Let's see if I can actually get this to receive any stations and I'll be back. Well, okay. I've got a station, as you can probably hear. Turned up the gain and something came right in. Let me just demonstrate that. 
down here we have almost nothing. And up here, it's picking up a station. Well, this seems to be the only station I can tune into, but it is coming in so strongly that the tape recorder, I've connected this to my tape recorder's line in, and I've had to turn that right down, because it's so, the output is so strong. Just got to try and find out what's causing all that hum and all that ringing and all that static that you can hear. Like I said, this is the only station I seem to be able to tune into at the moment. Don't know what it is, but... Try and tune into anything else. And there's just nothing else there. Okay, it's sounding better now. I've turned it like this. And it's not picking up any hum at all now. Well, for the most part. Still seems to be a lot of background static, but I think... That might be the lights. Oh yes, all the static is gone. Another ordinary office, full of ordinary office people on an ordinary office day. But for one of them, today will prove to be the most Because I have fluorescent lights in this place. Just got to try and find out what's causing that high-pitched whistling noise. And I think this will be pretty good radio. Okay, I think I found the station, because... Let's turn this one up. Knocking the gun out of Specky Simon's sweaty hand, smacking the specs right off his face. I believe that's the same station that I'm receiving on this one. Let me turn this one up. Looks like he got me after all, but I saved the wreck. Right, guys? Cut two. Okay, let's turn these both on. Both pushing prams to take in very good looking bits. Yep, there it is. There is a statue of Andy Barker. Zoe. Say hello to your daddy, kids. And this is about... Actually, let me just turn this box off so you can hear me. And that appears to be... I'd say about 190 kilohertz on the long wave band. Okay, take a look at the coil now. There's much less windings on there. Much less. Doesn't even make sense. There's a lot less windings on there now. And I have been able to tune into several stations. And it seems to be pretty selective as well, so um, let's give it a listen. I'll just connect up me battery. Because that's how you say battery in England. You say battery. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what we can tune into. Did get quite a few stations last night, including some music that I never thought I'd ever hear again. Alright, let me just turn the level. Let's turn the sound up a bit. So there's one. Let's go all the way to the end. Let's go all the way from end to end. There's quite a few really close together here. Don't know what that is, but it's playing some nice blues. Anyway, I better not to play too much of that, because I don't know if that will pick up on YouTube. That's on the French station, I've no idea what you're saying. There's something else. I don't know if that's the same station coming through on another frequency actually. No, it's not. Yeah. 
Oh no, it's football. As a station. There's a station right about here. This one seems to come in really strongly. It's probably five live. I think there's that blue station again. Coming in there for some reason. Probably a harmonic or something. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing from there onwards. So, I think this is working pretty good. Yeah, anyway, better turn that off because... I turned the amp far off, actually. Don't know what of... What's, I don't know what YouTube's... I'll start again. No idea what YouTube is going to pick up on or what it's not going to pick up on, so... Yeah. I'm going to call this a success. Moving on to future projects. Now this is a radio that I'm designing. This is a super het radio. It's still a work in progress, so this schematic is nowhere near complete as yet. As of yet, I've got no idea if this circuit is even going to do anything. I'm just basing it on circuits that I've seen on the internet, so yeah, like I said, I've no idea if this is even going to work. It's not so much designing the thing that's the hard part. It's finding an IF transformer. That's the hard part. I've got several scrapped radio boards. And they've got tons of little cords on them, just like this one. This is one I pulled out. But no idea which is which. That could be an IF transformer, the first stage, or the second stage, or the third stage, I don't know. Could even be an oscillator coil. I have absolutely no idea. And trying to find some of those online is pretty much impossible, so... I don't know when I'm going to be able to get around to even doing anything with that. But good news, everybody! As you may have noticed, I have an LC meter now, so I can make my own coils, my own inductors, so I can finally get that Tesla coil, that vacuum tube Tesla coil project up and running. Because a 100 microhenry inductor was one of the parts it needed, and I found out that every inductor that I have is nowhere near what I needed. It was either too much or too little. And I just farted. I also made a 220 microhenry inductor. So we can measure those. Um, not if I was showing it in the camera. Let's see. This one's a little bit over, but it's still good. 222 microhenry, that's not bad. And the 100 microhenry, I did end up being a little bit short, but... Yeah, it's good enough. I could just wind an extra turn on there, no problem. Even though I did glue the wires in place after I thought I had that at the right inductance. So anyway, that's just about it for this video, and yeah, you know what I say at the end of my video, so... Uh,